Hello, Shay. Tignan ano mo, nag, ano ako, nag-shops. Ano na, ang ganda. Shopstagram. O, oh, bagong okay. app yan. Ang dami kong nabili. Ilan na nabili mo? Ang dami na. Ay, gusto ko yan. Itong pink. Hindi pa ako nag-check out. 15 ano, items. Ano, ano, Tignan nyo. Ano ba yan? Ito, ito, ito. Tignan nyo. Aray. Ano ba yan nyo kasi? Philippines? Philippines? Province of China? Tignan mo, ang dami nyo na. Uy, saan mo nakuha yan? Wait lang, it's very alarming ha. Feeling ko totoo to. Tingnan mo, mandated by government. Nung July 12 pa pala to. Nakakatakot Ay, siya. Ay, wait lang. Ang dami nag-comment. Ano yan? Oh my God. Hindi mo pinapakita sa akin eh. Ano yan? Actually, na-share ko na siya. Ayan o, basahin mo. Ayan, oo. Uh -uh. Philippines province of China mandated by the government. Nakakatakot siya. Sinakop na tayo ng China. Natulog Sus! lang ako gabi. Hindi ako informed. Oh, okay. Eh. Hindi ako naniniwala dyan. Ayan, ang daming nag-comment. Ang daming nag-like. Ang daming nag -like. nag-like. Ay, nako. Basta ako hindi ako naniniwala. Isa lang yan, o. Oh. Isa website lang yan, o. Oh. Maniniwala Kahit kayo. Kahit na yung teacher ko nung elementary, nag-comment din eh, o. Oh. Ay, nako. Basta ako hindi ako maniniwala dyan agad-agad. O, eh, ha. Magiging probinsya, buong Pilipinas. Hmm, basta kami ni Ella, isi-share na namin para hmm, ma-inform na. Share ko na. Send ko na sa'yo. Sa Bola kayo. What's up, family? I'm Kat. I'm Weng. And dami koy. It's another day na naman mga family at upang magkaroon ng bagong knowledge patungkol sa media and information literacy. At for sure, marami kayo nga abangan because this is our first episode. Tama ka dyan, Kat. Kaya hindi na namin kayo bibitinin pa. You're watching Am I Literate? Ang buwan naman ang topic natin for today is understanding news, media, and information ethics. Understanding news, tas may media, tas para may ethics pa, no? I know guys, that would be confusing for you, but don't worry, cause we got you. Sigurado ako na lahat tayo, we have been in a certain situation na hindi natin alam kung tama pa ba yung nababasa natin online. Lalo na pagdating sa balita, sobrang laganap na kasi ng term na fake news ngayon, di ba? Alam mo, tama ka dyan, Weng. Kaya naman bibigyan natin na linaw kung ano nga ba talagang ethical journalism. And of course, we will help you out how to be critical in consuming news and media. Kaya naman meron tayong mga kasamang expert na sasagot ang mga katanungan ng ating family. She is a graduate of Broadcast Communication at the University of East Manila and the Program Moderator of the Media and Information Literacy Program of the LSUD Senior High School Department. Ms. Angelica Punong Bayan. That's right, of course, we want you to be properly informed dahil it's lit to be literate. Kaya huwag na natin patagalin pa. You're watching Am I Literate? Is the importance of free speech in a democratic country. First thing is, it's, it is really important knowing that we're in a government where we are supposed to have a freedom of expression and at the same time, freedom of speech. And of course, journalism has a big impact and help to different kind of viewers or readers because free, free speech is something that will help the people on what we really need to know. Because sometimes, now the news worth is not that worthy. My, in my personal views might be because of, of course, the self-interest of the journalist or of the news organization. But still, it's very important to have free speech in a way that we're able to express our opinions, same thing as citizen journalism, like what other TV networks are doing right now. What is the purpose of journalism and its role in strengthening democracy and good governance? The role of journalism, or may I say journalists nowadays, or Filipino journalists, is very important since our government right now is somehow suffering from what people want to know, what the president wants the people to know, and what people need to know. So it's like the journalism should always think about not the money or not because of the organizations they're into but because of their passion because as a journalist you're reporting for the people of the people and by the people 
So of course, they have to give the people what they need to know, not what your company wants the people to know. So it's like using your news ethics and at the same time, not being biased. So even if you're going to report something about your station, it's very unusual that a reporter will report someone from the same organization regarding harassment or any sexual assault because it's difficult to report someone who's also in the media industry or who's also in news and current affairs department. So it's a good thing that someone stood up for their rights um, even if they're a man or a woman. We have to know our rights and that is one example of a good journalism. That even if you're a journalist, even if it's show business, payon, it doesn't matter. Because who else will stand? Kailangan yung journalist muna, bago yung tao. How does media and information ethics being observed in our country? Well, it's kind of difficult to, for the people right now, or for the generation right now, to um, observe media and information. Because sometimes they just know the media, they just know the platform, but they don't know the content. And sometimes they don't look on the content. They just want to know what are the trend, trending news or who's the trending person right now. But of course, as someone who pays our tax, so we have to be responsible at the same time. That's why for media and information literacy, it's not about us knowing how to use the media. It is us knowing how to manipulate the media and how the media manipulates us as a viewer as a reader or as a listener so we have to be also responsible on what we are trying to watch what we are trying to read or what we're trying to listen to and at the same time it's very important that as a viewer as a listener of or user of a new media right now we should be able to be more responsible not just really more but really um, credible enough to judge something or to judge a certain news because most people right now are very judgmental and it's easy to become famous right now through the media trends but what the fact what factor affects us is yung for example parang normal na lang sa atin yung minamatay ganyan may na rape or about like yung mga news na very morbid parang normal na lang siya pero dati naman hindi naman ganun so parang ngayon um we really have to make sure that and observe what we read, what we listen, and what we watch. What are the pros and cons of self-regulating the media? Pros and cons, I think the pros are that, or are those that maybe as someone who really use media right now, or we're now in more mediated kind of communication. So as much as possible, it's good that we're very critical. At the same time, we're very technical on what we read, what you know, what we watch, and what we listen to. But again, the consequence is that some people might, or some agencies might say that she na mumma arte to na mday pang sinasabi ganon din naman yon. But then, what important is that what you know, not what other people know about it. Because the most important thing at the end of the day is the transparency and the accuracy of the media that you used. Lalo na, sobrang dami ng fake news. So from those fake news, how are you able to know if it's fake or if it's not? So as much as possible, you have to be critical of knowing and judging uh, news or media platform. Does the emergence of citizen journalism affect the traditional media? Why or why not? Of course, it's very important. First thing is that you're able, you're credible. You're credible enough to say something about anything under the sun. So it's like you can defend something since from the module that we're going to use, the right? So from the module and from the sources, it's very important to have resources, to have something like your backbone. See, if you're just going to say your opinion, it's very personal, it's not objective. So having source, having a credible source will help you to be able to be credible enough and to be able for the learners to know, ah, okay, dito nila nakuha yun. 
from this person and these are the um, and these are the things that this person has or for example the person the writer or the, res the uh, resources or the author has these kinds of credentials so of course it will be easy for the learners to believe and at the same time to use the different the different platforms or resources that the Lasallian educators or educators will give them. Ayan, ang dami na nag-message sa akin. Yes. Na-alarm sila dun sa pinusati. Pero kay dapat lang para ma-inform sila sa tamang information na kinakalat na. Ako rin. Yes. Pati yung magulang ko, sabi ni Mama, kung totoo daw ba, sabi ko, oo ma, tingnan mo, Wikipedia pa nga yung mm -hmm. nagkabas eh. Tsaka mandated by government na. Doon ako. True. Ayan. Hindi talaga kayo niniwala sa akin. Hindi. Pambansang epal ko kayo. Wow ha? Sinare nyo na, pinost mo pa. Ano, oh. madami na nag-like. Oo, oh, oh, ang dami nang nag-like. Ano Nilagta ng crush ko. Guys, hindi naman po rikit maraming likes, maraming shares Maraming comments, eh legit na. Ano ba naman kayo? She, oh. sa tingin mo, Peki, yung mga Kaya likes na yun? Kaya nga, maglalabas ba sila ng ganyan? Oh, maglalabas ba sila ng ganyan kung hindi totoo? Ay nako, basta para sa akin, i-delete nyo yan kasi mamaya papagkama lang pa kayong false bearer of information. Ay, ganun mo ko na. Oh, talaga. Kasi tingnan nyo ah. Tingnan nyo to. Basahin nyo to. Mm. Minasearch ako. Oh, basahin mo. Basa. Philippines, a province of China. Not now, not ever. Oh, not ever, forever. Saan so, naman galing yan? Rap? Legit na yan. Legit to. Sure na yan Legit talaga. Kasi nga guys, oh, ang Wikipedia pwede pa ma-edit yan eh. Ano, naniniwala kayo. Okay, paano yan? Na-post ko na, na-post niya na rin, na-share niya na nga eh. Mga dahil hindi pwede i-delete, i-delete nyo nga. Nakakahiya naman. Ay, wow well, ha. Pero dapat lang talaga na hindi sila nagpo-post ng mga ganyang article. Oh, Kasi oh. alam mo, nakakabahala siya sa mga Pilipinas. Kahit nga ako, di ba? Ako rin. Naniwala na rin ako. Ang dami pang yun. nag-react. Paano naman yan? Tumingin din kayo sa iba kasing sources. Hindi yung dyan lang sa Wikipedia pa kayo tumingin talaga. Ano ba yan? Mm, delete delete na lang. Na. Sige na. Now, next time, alam nyo na ha. Okay? Nakakahiya tuloy. Ang dami kong natutunan from that. Una, journalists do play a central role in providing us with information and facilitating citizen participation. Tapos meron din palang governing bodies for news and media. Ikaw ba, Kat? Ay ako ay learn na hindi pala basta-basta yung news, no? Kasi meron palang news values na katulad ng mga timeliness, proximity, yung mga ganun. Ako ang natutunan ko isa pagpili ng right source of information. Mm. Kaya naman, we hope that you've learned a lot from this episode. Kagaya namin! Kaya samahan nyo ulit kami sa susunod na episode. Dahil it's lit to be literate. I'm Weng. I'm Kat. And I'm Ikoy. See you next time here on Am I Literate? literate?